Praise God, praise God. Well, this is Apostle Deanna Dixon. I pray that you are having a blessed day. Um, I'm sitting in the car, so I have to kind of like position it so the light don't, you know, still so much sun. Okay, so anywho, uh, basically I wanted to go ahead and finish. Y'all know YouTube, YouTube took off my, um, my video, right? And my thing is, all I was telling was truth. You know what I'm saying? But I'm going to show y'all, um, I'm going to do another video when I get home. I'm going to show y'all that they said something about, um, I was telling untruths about the coronavirus, something like that, whatever the case may be, whatever. So, anywho, this is part two of that video. So, um, as y'all can see, I don't know if y'all can see my eyes. I have not, I have just not been sleeping. Not because I'm worried, not anything like that. God has just been really speaking. Like, it's, it's urgency. And it's, let me tell you something. Anything about these pagan holidays? I think if anything, what God is really trying to tell his people, wake up. I'm just going to be real. Church, you sleeping. God said you sleeping and the enemy creeping. Y'all think it's a game. God says you sleeping and the enemy is creeping. The enemy is planning a lot of stuff. And it's not to put nobody in fear. I saw a couple of comments. He missed me with all that crazy talk. Or miss me. That's not that's not what God is. That's not what God does. That's not who God sends. A person to install fear. But faith through the truth. God is a God of order and a God is a God of truth. So let me continue with God's truth. <sighs> These things are gonna happen so quick. I'm serious, they're gonna happen quick, y'all. I saw electricity electricity going out that's why they rewiring everything i was i remember when i was in abbeville i'm from louisiana right and i remember one day i woke up and they was doing something in the street i said what they doing and this neighborhood dad used to live in an older neighborhood so there's nothing wrong with the lights the system or whatever but they was rewiring things makes sense now i said oh so i don't know if y'all just pay attention they rewiring stuff because martial law is coming what is martial law Y'all need to go ahead and Google what martial law is. And I'm sorry to be the barrier of the truth. But martial law, when martial law takes effect, it is total dictatorship. Total dictatorship. Okay, I saw big screens. Big screens, not like in the mall. You know when you go in the mall and you see them big screens and it shows you what's in the mall or whatever. But these big screens, they had the people. They had the New World Order people like the... um. The one that's going to head, New World Order. Y'all already know who that is. If y'all don't know, I'm, I'm I'm about to go ahead. I ain't got time to play with y'all. That's going to be Mr. O. I don't even like saying his name because his name means Lord. He's going to run New York New World Order. Y'all can say what y'all want to say. Y'all wanted, it was almost like King Saul. Y'all wanted a king, y'all about to get one. And guess what? The same ones. Ooh, he, he the first black. That's They used the black face to do it. As a matter of fact, they've been using a lot of black face lately to do what they got to do. Y'all ain't ready for me. Y'all can get mad if you want. Come for me. I'm ready. Go to God. Y'all ain't ready for truth. Most of y'all not. Because y'all y'all have been suckered into this world system. So, anywho, uh, I saw curfews. I mean, curfew. Okay. The electricity and curfew is, is com combined. When curfew start, they're going to turn off the lights. So, it's going to be real hot. So, y'all better get... <laughs> I don't know if it's going to do good to get generators or fans, little portable fans. I'm not kidding. This is not a game. Y'all could take this as a game. This is not a game. God would, is telling you to prepare yourself mentally, physically, spiritually, emotionally, financially. The, the cash system, that's about to be cashless. So I told y'all, get y'all some gold. Um, no, y'all don't notice the coins? All of a sudden they have a shortage on coins? Keep your coins. Keep your coins. You're going to need them. Keep your coins. Uh, excuse me. I'm not kidding. Keep your coins. Do not spend your coins. Stop spending your coins. Every time you get change, put it in a drawer. I'm telling you. Those that can get gold, get gold. And hold on. Don't be with that system. The little gold card things. They tried to make me um, buy that stuff and, you know, they wanted my platform. I'm not getting rid of a lot of the people. What good is gold going to be on the card when they shut the system down? Get you physical gold. If you can't buy physical gold, keep your corns. Corns are going to be valuable one day. Y'all y'all looking at a quarter like it ain't nothing. A quarter going to buy, buy you some water one day. Oh, come on, somebody. Let me continue this. So when martial law come, the light's going to go off and curfew. You're going to have to have papers. Papers to say that you're vaccinated. You're going to have to have ID on you. I saw a lot of drones, too. These drones, man, these some killer drones. 
they got some laser beams. I keep seeing the laser beams. They kill people. They kill people. So it's about to be like a third world country here. I heard them say, we're going to bring America to her knees. They're not playing. They're not playing. They're, part of, they're all part of an elite system. Like I was saying yesterday, Cain's descendant started this elite system. He, he was that mad at God. He hated God that much. Yes, and God allowed it because God said, I'm going to let them do what they do, but I'm going to do what I'm going to do. Also, so I saw drones, saw killer drones. Um, My God, my God. It's almost like slavery days going to be over. I mean, back again. I saw, I saw when people were trying to escape, they had dogs. I mean, I'm not getting any wrestling <laughs> lately, but that's fine. Because I have to, and it's like, y'all have to understand when God show me these things, I go through, because it's like, I cry for the people. I'm not worried about me. My 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 destiny is sealed. You can better believe that. They're going to do what they're going to do. And I gladly accept it. I don't care. But I'm trying to warn y'all because we're not going to have this social media. You're not going to have social media. We're not going to be able to get on here and warn each other. And y'all going to be looking for people like me. So the best thing y'all could do, download these videos on your phone. Um, Replay them when the time comes so you could put it in your spirit, your mind. Even if you don't believe it, just humor me. Humor yourself. Just remember what I say. You're going to need God. You're going to need God. You're going to need God. If you're playing, you're going to need God. All of us. We better get closer to God. All of us. That's me included. Get closer. You know, because people say, oh, some people close. Man, let me tell you something. These times, going to find out where you're really at. Secondly, um, don't trust everybody. I've been wondering, how can I tell y'all this? I got something heavy on my heart. And I'm going to have to say it one day soon. I just want y'all to know that. I'm not a liar. I just can't do it no more. And um, now y'all know I must have felt something. Huh? I'm telling you, you can feel demons from the back of you, bro. But anywho, um, something happening. Something is very happening. Um, they must have paid them. Because um, I don't understand it. And... Um, they they really they really doing bad things. So anywho, informants, y'all better watch informants. Let me tell you what they're trying to do. They ain't no trying. Let me tell you what they're doing. They paying people that are very close to you to get close to you, closer. I've been watching it for a month, all in my face, and it's very irritating and annoying when you making it a point, you know. Like um, I'm going here. I'm going here. I, I'm going here. Everything about to be. Every, everything about to be told anyway, because it just has to be. But somebody did something last night, and I'm looking at him. I said, "Why you? Why you doing that? What's what's going on?" And my whole arm began to hurt. They wanted me to touch something, so I'm not thinking nobody's trying to hurt me like that. So I touched it. As soon as I touched it, my whole right arm started hurting. I said, "What you, 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 you doing? Witchcraft? You trying to you trying to get me get me tainted or something?" <laughs> they just looked at me crazy. I went off. I can't lie to you. I went off. I said, I'm telling you right now, you better back up off me. I don't play this now. I don't play this. So so the, so so they, so so they got you too, huh? You done took that money? You done made a deal? And I don't care what age you are. Oh, I just said it, huh? Y'all better quit playing with God. Y'all better quit making deals. Y'all y'all better quit doing that for money, bro. Because let me tell you what's gonna happen. You have to pay the piper. You have to pay the piper. <laughs> don't let them people scare you. Meaning that I don't know if they be having stuff on people. I think they do. And scare man, don't let nobody make you go to hell. Yeah, y'all better catch what I'm really saying up in here. Don't let no one make you go to hell. I'm telling you. You can't come against God's people. Let me tell you how. Let me go scripture. Vengeance is mine, saying the Lord. So even if somebody do something, your position just to pray. You can't be doing stuff. But that's what the elite doing. So y'all better watch for them informants. I'm telling y'all who is informants. If they greedy for money, or they got some kind of criminal background, or if the people have something against them, they scaring them into doing what they doing. I knew something was wrong. I've been knowing for years. But you know, the person I am, I try to, I try to work with people. But now I can't do it no more. So when I reveal what's going to happen and going on, it's going to make me look bad. But I got to do what I got to do for me. 
I'm not playing. Let me tell you something. It's coming down to that. Y'all better quit playing with people. I don't care if they're family, friends. If y'all know that they're on their former, y'all better quit playing with them people. Because I'm telling you, this is this is some real stuff. This is not no game. All right, so what else God wanted me to tell y'all? Get close to your family. Forgive people. My God, like, I forgive everybody that did me wrong. I promise you I do. I'm going to not fool with you. Why would I fool with people that's trying to take me with witchcraft or possibly hurt me? That's crazy. I don't care if you mother, father, sister, brother, you crazy. I'm not finna roll with you like that. If them people want to get me, let them get me, but I'm not going to um, let you assist them. I just said it. I'm 52, about to be 53 in June. I ain't never flipped on nobody. An uh, enemy. I, ne I I just don't have that kind of blood. I don't know how to sell our people, even if they dirty. I don't, I just don't, I, I, I'm just not made that way. I'm not cut. I'm cut different. <laughs> not for money. Not for nothing. I I could I could dislike them. Let's be real, cause you don't like everybody. I ain't rolling like that. I ain't setting up nobody. Y'all better get out my face with that foolishness. Don't offer me no money, no honey, no funny. I ain't doing it. I'm a child of God. Let God deal with them people. But I'm telling you, people doing they in a desperate state. That's that's why you see when they I told y'all the elite first hit was COVID. They put people in fear. That, that wasn't the first thing they did. The first thing they did is start killing off black folks. And hold on. I'm about to I'm about to really take it to y'all. The Mofarans helped kill some of them black people. I'm I'm going here. I'm gonna say some things y'all not gonna agree with, and it's fine because I'm I'm moved by the Holy Spirit. I ain't moved by people. Trayvon Martin on daddy set him up. Y'all ain't ready for me for real. Y'all this thing, this rabbit hole goes so deep, I don't know where the rabbit at. <laughs> Y'all think it's a game. This is an evil world. They don't care about no money. They don't care about no blood. Well, it's about bloodlines, but it's also about... The, the whole thing is about this secret brotherhood. And y'all be surprised. Y'all think just because they're black... Man, I don't care what color you are. I'm going to say that again. I don't care what color you are. I want to know what your spirits say. I told y'all, I don't, don't be trusting people just because they're the same color. I'm telling y'all right now. You got to ask God, God, show me their spirit. Yeah, y'all, I got, you know, you could feel stuff, right? And I'm like, whatever. But anywho, because they don't like when I do videos, y'all know that. So I'm seeing a lot of movement, but it's all good. I ain't scared as long as they don't roll up on me because, hey, I'm human, <laughs> but I ain't Jesus. So anywho, this is real. All this stuff is real that's coming because um, I, I see it, I hear it, and I'm like, Lord, and it's not to put you in fear so those that's thinking that y'all probably plants up on here get up off my life with your silly self you silly god will always warn his people always to the end of time god gonna warn us and let us know i'm telling you get close to god get your anointing back i'm gonna get up on here later um i just wanted to give y'all some key points i'm gonna keep i'm gonna keep putting it out keep putting it out and uh hopefully they don't take this one down but they something else but it's on Facebook, so y'all need to go look at that last video I did because it's very powerful. But, um, and again, I got to reiterate something, and I know some of you are not going to like it. This is going to be your last Christmas as a Christmas. I don't celebrate it because I think you're supposed to give and love all through the year. This is going to be your last Christmas, y'all. And what I mean by that, let me clarify it. It won't look like Christmas next year. People are going to be fighting for their lives. They got so many. I'm here in Georgia. I saw them coffins years ago, those black thin coffins. You know you could put seven bodies in them black thin coffins, maybe eight. And I always ask myself, why they got all them coffins? Why they got all them guillotines? You know, those things that chop off your hay, America ordered. And all this is public information. Ordered 100,000 of them. What they going to do with that? <laughs> Persecution. That's it, God. Thank you. Persecution is coming, Christians. So y'all sitting up there trying to be a legacy, build a business. Now I see why God's blocked everything. And I'm okay with that. My, my And I'm okay with, uh, I'm okay with a lot of stuff. End time, apostle, and prophet. That's what I'm supposed to do. That's all I'm supposed to do. Everything else is just maybe a perk or whatever the case may be. But we're supposed to, the remnant, we're supposed to be warning people. We're supposed to getting people to come back to God. If you've loved God, 
let's stop being about our father's business. It ain't about money and houses and cars. Ah, they food us all. Oh, like, don't they didn't talk about American dreams, American nightmare. <laughs> Y'all start witnessing the people. See if they got Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior. That's what's the main thing. If you die, are you gonna go to are you gonna be in heaven? Because it's real. Hell is real. It's too many people dying without God, and God is so displeased. I got to get up on here later and do a powerful video about the Holy Spirit. But I will say this. How are you going to preach and teach and you ain't got no anointing? It's a money game. Money take. That's all these preachers have been doing. Y'all know it. Excuse me. When God said I was going to be different, I, I didn't understand it. But now, that's why, I, honestly, and I have to be honest with you, when I first started, and I'm going to be transparent on purpose. We used to have thousands coming in. I couldn't do what everybody else do. Go get a house, D. Go get this nice car, D. I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. My mind was like, what about the people? Let's give back to the people. Let's go feed the home. I always thought like that. That's just my heart I have. I've never been, oh, I got to look good. I got. It's okay to look good. Don't get it twisted. But I never wanted to have this, this, that, that. So people could say, I'm blessed. Man, I'm blessed. I don't care if I ain't got nothing. I'm blessed. <laughs> Y'all ain't ready for me for real. The 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 more this thing comes to the end, and it is, I'm seeing the only thing we really need is Jesus Christ of Nazareth. The enemy didn't fool us with all this fake stuff in the world. Got everybody running after that. All he did was trick us into not wanting Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior for real. Wanting to be saved, filled with the Holy Ghost. There you go. People don't want the Holy Spirit no more. Oh, let's just be real. People can't handle the Holy Spirit no more because guess what? Body, temple, unclean. We got to get back to God. And I'm coming hard. I'm coming hard in these last days. We got to get back to God. It ain't about houses, cars, this, that. We got to get back to God. And guess what? We need the anointing. Okay, I'm going here. I'm going to give y'all a snippet of what I'm talking about. The Great Commission. Before Jesus sent the apostles. He said, hold on, y'all not ready yet. He say, until the Holy Ghost come up on you and subdue you. Hallelujah. You can't go out there and preach and teach. There it is. How y'all preaching and teaching with no Holy Ghost? Ain't nobody getting saved. They getting happy, but they ain't getting saved. Preacher, teacher, apostle, prophet. What's wrong with you? You wasn't a sign to make people happy. You was a, you was a sign to move, to let them be moved by the Holy Ghost. And the Holy Spirit convicts them. You, you Y'all get in the pulpit, talk about people. And you, it's not your job to convict nobody. Our position is to let the Holy Ghost, the Holy Spirit, touch them and convict them. Hallelujah. But you can't do that if you ain't got that. And most of y'all don't have it. Y'all can clown and, and, and mock me, which people have been doing through all the years. That's fine with that. I'm, I'm used to it. But I got the Holy Spirit. Period. No, I ain't got this. I ain't got that. No, I sure don't. But I got the Holy Ghost. And I see. I got spiritual eyesight. And I hear. And, and I'm not trying to be arrogant about it. I paid for this. It's a sacrifice. Can't go everywhere I want to go. I can't hang who I want to hang with. Can't do what I want to do. What you talking about? Oh, that's why y'all don't have it. Because y'all not really sacrificing nothing. In order to be possessed by the Holy Ghost, it's going to cost you everything. And I mean everything. Friends, family, people going to hate you. Everything. So that's why y'all don't want it. But yet y'all want to preach and teach to the people. The people, the people, the people. Y'all better stop playing with God. That's what y'all better stop doing. Seriously. Well, I'm going to get off of here. I'm going to come back and talk about that Great Commission thing later and about the Holy Ghost. Because that's what God had me. He said, Dan, you got to tell them. You know, um, you got people up here just well, they're swindling people for money, you know, preaching and teaching. It, it, it's lucrative in this hour, but it's about to be a shift. <laughs> God said, I'm, I, he said, in these last days, I will pour out my spirit on all flesh. But when people don't understand this, that spirit will expose you or, or actually keep you for that endurance. So it will build up endurance or it will expose who you really are. Hallelujah. Woo! So God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. And God keep you. I love you, my brothers and sisters. Now is the time. 
Now is the time, said the Lord. Rise up. Rise up. Take your rightful place. Rise up the bloodstained batter. He is still Jesus Christ of Nazareth. His blood, his blood, his blood will keep you. His blood will save you. His blood will deliver you. It's the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. And they still hate him today. He said, don't marvel if the world hates you. For it hated me first. Hallelujah. So God bless you. God keep you. I know what time it is. It's a soldier right here. It's a soldier right here. It's a soldier right here. And so are you. Soldier up. Y'all better soldier up. They're here. They ain't coming. They're here. What you gonna do? Hmm? All right. So God bless you. God keep you. I know I gotta do it. Roll our soldiers for that is truly who we are. God bless.